Hello, it is me, it is me, your True Hill Phenom SP3, here at StarCast, here with the legendary Lash LaRue, WCW icon, in my opinion, the Raging Cajun. How are you doing? Man, I'm tremendous. Somebody had to be the Raging Cajun, and I drew the short straw, Sid. I'm just enjoying myself, man. It's fun to be back out here. I missed my brotherhood, if you will, and it's been awesome. I had a match last night, went great, feel great, and here we are today. You had a big match at GCW with Joey Janela. I was there live. You had the people on their feet. How did it feel to be back in the ring with someone of Joey Janela's, you know, credentials, being in there and standing toe to toe with them? Oh, go on. No, I mean, go on. Keep telling me how great I am. No, it was phenomenal, man. It was a great feeling. You know, I didn't know what to expect till I got out there. We're talking about 13 years in the making. It's been 13 years since I've been in a wrestling ring. And me walking out there with Joey was the first time. Uh, man so my expectations were probably lower than they should have been and i feel like we over delivered on all that man and i'm so proud of what we were able to accomplish i'm so appreciative of everybody at gcw and for the welcoming that they gave me for the spot that they gave me on the show and for the match that i was able to have with joey janela it's just phenomenal to make a, a splash back into the wrestling business that way and what sparked this comeback into wrestling after 13 years? That's a that's a long layoff, but like I said, you look like you there was no time that you lost. Well, it's kind of you to say that, man. It was completely by accident, a little bit of a fluke, if you will. I do nothing but caricature art now. I do live caricature events constantly, all the time, and that's what I do. That's sort of my day job, if you will. I get booked out for events, draw live caricatures, love doing it, and so I do the uh, time limit draw show. You know, now with ad free shows. Com. Do that about once a month, and because of that, they do their uh, top guy weekend each and every year. And this past year, it was in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm not too far from there, so I was asked to come up and be a part of that weekend, and I drew caricatures there. That's all I was doing was just drawing caricatures. But as I'm leaving, Sid, there was a wrestling ring. And there was nobody in the wrestling ring, and there was nobody in the building. And I said, you know, I have not been in a ring in 13 years. I just want to see how it feels. So I slid in the ring, took a couple of bumps, took a front bump, threw a drop kick, and I said, you know what? It feels a little bit like riding a bike. Somebody filmed that. They stuck it online. The magic of the internet. Wham, bam, bing, bang, boom. Here we are. And Game Changer gives me a call and says, what do you think about making a comeback? And so legitimately me sliding in the ring there was the first time in a ring in 13 years last night from the time i took that bump a few weeks ago or a few months ago to wrestling last night that was the only time i'd been in the ring so that was legitimately my first match back and we just went out there and did it i said let's see what happens you know we rolled the dice and it came up snake eyes well, I have one final question for Wait you. On, like man. I said, you're a WCW icon, in my opinion, well. because you were a part of Misfits yeah. in Action. Hey. So you were a part of a group that had the name General Rection. How was the creative behind coming up with Misfits in Action behind the scenes to what we saw on the screen? Uh, I think the creative was probably didn't take very long, five minutes and a lot of juvenile thought. No, but you know, we, they rolled with that. What I love most about the Misfits in Action, just to be honest with you, Sid, was not really the names, not really the comedy effect or anything else, but it's the proof that if you take a lot of good workers, great wrestlers, and stick them together in a faction, put whatever gimmick you want to put on them, man. Either somebody's got some talent or they don't have some talent, the cream's going to rise to the top. And what we always took pride in, especially myself, Bill DeMont, you know, uh, Chavo Guerrero, us going out there with those gimmicks and the fact that we were able to get that over and get the fans behind it and make them love it in general direction. As you spoke about, comes out the United States heavyweight champion. We come out the tag team champions brother i think that says a lot for our abilities and that's one of the things that i took the most pride in throughout my entire career and as you should it was an honor to speak to you thank you so much for your time this has been sp3 of true hill heat this is lash Larue. if you want can you plug everything where they can find you please do man i'm just lash larue brother you can find me on twitter at lash can draw because whether you thought i could draw in the wrestling business or not i'm proving i can draw on paper so take that and that and just a little bit of lesser le bon ton roulette let the good times roll this is sp3 with the raging cajun lash larue we'll see you next time